what did you think went wrong in the end? Well, why did you guys lose this game? Um, we, uh, I mean, I feel like we didn't, we didn't, um, I feel like we didn't back down. I feel like we battled all the way. But uh, we had a lot of open shots. Um, we practiced this. We knew we were going to have open shots. It was just the mental toughness to um, knock them down. And that, that, was, that was all it was, really. What, do you, what does, um, you got to get on, guys got off to a bad start, and you, you tied the game, and then you're down 14 in the second half, and then it's four point game with a minute and a half. What, you know, what does that say about you guys that you kind of keep coming back? Um, we're tough, man. Uh, we don't give up. We play hard, and um, it's not over. We're, um, we're going to stay together, stay positive, and uh, keep working. But we're just, we're right, it's, we keep saying this, but we're right there, and um, we just got to, learn to close out games and finish games. You see with your um, uh, three-point touch there in, in the first, first half and you know, leading the team back, I mean, did, you, did you kind of feel that you were in a good group from three-point range? Um, kind of saying shoot or shoot. So actually I got, got off to an 0-3 start, I believe. But uh, if I'm open, I have confidence in myself. My teammates have confidence in me. So uh, I try not to, to take contested shots or bad shots. And uh, if I'm open, I try to just get my feet set and, and let it fly. I wasn't really hunting the shots, but when teams go zone, it's easy for especially the guards to get open shots. So. What did you think when they changed the starting lineup for the game? You're on the bench and they got three freshmen at the um, I loved it, honestly. Whatever we need to, to do to get a win, we'll do it. And. Uh, Hopefully, we can figure out how to get better starts and then uh, to carry it out when uh, we get some subs in. So we're still just trying to find uh, that perfect lineup to, to get off to a good start. So uh, I know eventually we'll come to it. Okay. And, um, you know, again, this is another tight type loss. I mean, is it taking a toll on the team, do you think? Uh, I know you guys want to stay positive, but it's tough to lose close games all the time. Um, it is. I, I wouldn't say it's tough to stay positive. Uh, it definitely uh, it hurts, but that's the thing about basketball. It's the beauty of it. You got another game in a couple of days, so you kind of just got to let that one roll off and, and focus on the next one. And the next one, if we get a win, we'll be in totally different spirits. So it's important to just focus on the next game, the next task at hand, and uh, try to get a win streak started. And, and how would you feel about uh, wearing a throwback? Uniforms to the Final Four team. It was fun. It was definitely fun to, to honor the the um, alumni. It was cool. I like the jerseys. They look nice. Uh, just tough to we didn't get the win tonight. Just a couple of okay. Anything else for these two? Yeah. You mentioned um, the early struggles. Uh, shots just weren't falling. Uh, what were some of the issues that you guys uh, noticed, and what were some of the adjustments that you made as the game went on? Uh, I think this is not anything complex. It's just simply we, we missed shots. We, we took them. They were open. Uh, we shot them in the rhythm, but some just weren't following. Some of them did, and uh, just didn't make it up. I thought uh, it was another game we, we competed and we fought and played hard. Uh, another great crowd. You know, we loved playing at home, and you know, unfortunately, came up on the wrong end uh, again. And um, you know, it seems like. You know, the last few games have kind of been, you know, the same type of mistakes and, you know, free throws, missed shots, and, uh, you know, going seven for 35 for three, you know, wasn't ideal, but, you know, we knew coming in that they were going to play one-three-one one zone. We knew exactly the shots we were going to get. We knew, you know, we, they were going to be wide open, and it was a matter of just stepping up and knocking them down, and, you know, we obviously missed too many of them, but, uh, you know, give them credit for sticking with it, and, and uh, you know, first half we diced up the zone. And you know, second half, uh, you know, we didn't. You you uh, changed the lineup for today. You put the three freshmen in and sat. Uh, I think the three seniors there. Or yeah. Three seniors and a junior. Uh, why, why did you decide to do that? You know, the last probably two weeks of practice, you know, our, our white group, which is our second unit, which is mostly freshmen, four freshmen and sophomore, you know, had been winning a lot of the drills, and you know, I thought after four losses, you know, we needed to shake something up and. And uh, you know those guys practiced well the last couple of days, and I thought they deserved to uh, you know come out. I thought uh, Elijah you know played one of his better games, and, 
the last probably two, three weeks, you know, he was playing hard, left everything he had out in the court. You know, it was all over the boards. It was great defensively, and um, you know, th those guys will continue to get better. Uh, they, they've had great attitudes. They've come to work and practice, and uh, you know, it was you know, good game experience for them. Then you guys got off to a slow start there. It was 12-2, and then you went back to the other the other guys. Yeah, it was uh, you know four two in the first war. You know we missed some, I think three laps. You know could have been up six easily, and then the second war we were down eighteen to seven. Um, going into that, you know we had subbed prior to that. You know with with a couple of those guys, um, and then you know start the second half. You know anytime you you have the ball to start the half, you want to come out and execute and get a basket. And uh, you know we we lost that war um, eleven to four. You know, and that kind of set the tone for the second half. And you know, when you do that, you, you're continuing, continuing to battle uphill. And you know, we got it close. You know, late, we got a couple stops, but couldn't come up with a rebound. You know, didn't close out to uh, their best shooter hard enough. You know, gave a, a drive uh, in, with an and one. You know, and uh, you know, when you get close like that, you got to capitalize and come up with big stops. Do you take anything positive in that? Uh you rallied in the first half to pull even, and then you're down 14, and then you're down four with a minute and a half. Yeah, our, our guys are always going to compete and fight. You know, that's what I like about them. They're going to they're going to battle, and you know they they got great attitudes and you know say the right things. But you know it's a, it's a matter of stepping up and and doing it, and individually and as a team. And you know when you fight that hard to get back into it, and you know that's when you know someone's got to individually just come up and make a play, get a big rebound, you know get a big stop, get a steal, and go down and finish it. And um, you know, we, we didn't do that. And uh, you might be tied for seventh now in the standings. Or are you worried you're going to get stuck playing in Vermont in that first round? Or is it still too, too early to think about it? Well, it's still too early. I think you know you have six games left, and, and you know we could easily win all six of them. But you know it's, they're all going to be close games. And you know, like I told our guys afterwards, individually every guy in the room has to step up and make one or two more positive plays. You know, per game, and you know when you do that, you know it, it's a completely different change of you know wins and losses and, and uh, mindset and attitudes and and uh, you know the way this league is, you can win on any night and you can lose on any night. So there's a lot of you know basketball left to play with six games, but you know the urgency's got to be there for 40 minutes, and you know you can't play for 35 or 36. You got to play for the whole 40. Coach, going back to the uh, lineup change, did you see enough in your guys to bring that lineup out again for the next game? Well, I think you know once once we watch tape, we'll go back and look at it, and and um, you know I'm I'm up for anything like practice wise, and you know if we feel like someone else is competing harder in practice, you know we'll we'll make that change, and you know it's almost to a point where you know guys are making the same mistakes that we've been making. And you know, you know, I told him like, you know, I like to give our guys freedom. You know, let them play with freedom, shooting the ball, you know, playing. And you know, at some point, you know, I might need to change a little bit on, on that end and you know, control things a little bit more. But you know, we we got to just come back. Uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to be off. We got to come back Monday, get ready for Mass Lowell uh, on Thursday, and you know, thankfully it's at home, and you know, find a way to win.